नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स हमारे YouTube चैनल में एक बार फिर से आप सभी का स्वागत है आज हम करने जा रहे हैं कोसी सीक्वेंस तो कोसी सीक्वेंस को डिफाइन करेंगे साथ ही इसकी कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज कोसी सीक्वेंस से रिलेटेड कुछ थ्योरम्स को आज हम प्रूव करने जा रहे हैं तो सबसे पहले डेफिनेशन ए सीक्वेंस ए एन इज सेट टू बी ए कोसी सीक्वेंस इफ फॉर एनी एपसाइलन एपसाइनल ग्रेटर देन जीरो दियर एग्जिस्ट ए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एम There exist a positive integer m such that mod a n minus a m is less than epsilon when n is greater than equal to m when n is greater than equal to so we can say that difference between any two terms after m okay after m we can make age small age possible or if terms of sequence if terms of sequence after point m after m are very near then sequence an is said to be cosy sequence for example if i take terms of sequence suppose a1 this term is a2 this term is a3 and suppose here i get m and this is a m and after that m terms of sequences are very near all these terms are here of sequence okay that is after fix m difference between the distance between any two terms of sequence is less than epsilon difference between any two terms of sequence is less than epsilon then sequence an is said to be cosy sequence for example if we can find such m then sequence will be cosy sequence and if we are we cannot find such m then sequence will not be a cosy sequence for example for example if i take sequence suppose sequence an equal to 1 upon n 1 upon n. find ye le rahe le rahe hain apan let for n greater than m am minus an this mode equal to mode 1 upon m minus 1 upon n which is equal to m into n n minus m n minus m and this term is clearly less than 1 upon m less than 1 upon m. because n minus m upon n we can write if i write 1 upon m outside then this term n minus m upon n is always less than 1 and then if i write this less than 1 then this whole term is less than 1 upon a 1 upon a. and if i take this whole 1 upon m is less than epsilon epsilon then we can find find m greater than 1 upon epsilon m greater than 1 upon epsilon and if we are able to find such m so what we get mod am minus an is less than epsilon for all m greater than 1 upon epsilon m greater than 1 upon epsilon or if m is 
like this then we can write for all n greater than equal to m where m we can obtain which is greater than 1 upon epsilon so if we can find such m which depends on epsilon the, and this condition is satisfied then sequence a n is called cosy sequence so here sequence a n is cosy sequence hence sequence a n is a cosy sequence cosy sequence next example if i take example another example if i want to check let sequence a n is equal to minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 raised to the power let if possible let if possible mode a m minus a n is less than epsilon and if i take suppose epsilon equal to 1 then what we can write mode a m minus a n is less than 1 so if terms of sequence after m greater than equal after m that is for m greater than for all n which are greater than equal to m and this difference for each term is less than 1 then we want to check now if i take suppose let let n equal to n equal to suppose 2m plus 1 m equal to 2m plus 1. and let m is even suppose m is even then what we get mode mode a m if m is even then it is 1 and minus a n that is minus 1 raised to the power n and n equal to 2m plus 1 so what we get equal to 1 minus minus 1 minus 1 and this equal to 2 which is not less than 1 because difference between any two terms of sequence must be less than 1 but here this difference is coming out 2 which is not less than 1 so what we can say that sequence a n is not a cosy sequence hence sequence a n is not a cosy sequence not a cosy sequence so by definition we can prove that either a sequence is cosy or not for which we have to find only m if such m exists then sequence will be cosy sequence now we are going to prove some theorems related to cosy sequence and first of all i am going to prove a theorem prove that every Cauchy sequence is bounded every Cauchy sequence is bounded but converse may not be true but converse may not be true so every in earlier lectures we have proved that every convergent sequence is bounded but converse is not true here we are going to prove that every cosy sequence is bounded also we will give an example to prove that converse of this theorem is not true proof let sequence a n be a cosy sequence suppose this sequence is a cosy sequence then then for suppose epsilon equal to 1 there exists a positive integer there exists a positive integer m such that such that 
मोड ए एम माइनस ए एन इज लेस देन वन फोर ओल फोर ओल एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एन एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू सो वी आर जस्ट टेकिंग दैट आफ्टर दिस पॉइंट एम terms of sequence are very near so this difference is less than epsilon or we can made as small as we pleasure if i take epsilon equal to 1 epsilon equal to 1 so we get this what we can write this implies this implies minus 1 is less than am minus an is less than 1 for all n greater than equal to m or this result can be written as can be written as minus am minus 1 is less than minus an is less than 1 minus am for all n greater than equal to m and this implies am minus 1 is less than an is less than am plus 1 for all n greater than equal to m n greater than equal to m so here sequence an here m is a fixed number fixed positive number if m is fixed positive number then am is a fixed term of sequence so this is a finite number similarly this is also a finite real number so what we can write here that sequence sequence an is um, the terms of sequence an are bounded or okay are bounded for m greater than equal to n but what we can say when the terms of sequence are for those indices which are less than m which are less than m so for whole sequence to prove sequence bounded for every n what we can write we can write here let let i am define defining a small k equal to a small k equal to so terms of sequence after m this condition is satisfied and we want to write the condition before m so i am taking a Uh, small k equal to small k equal to minimum of minimum of a one a two up to a m minus one up to a m minus one comma comma this term a m minus one a m minus one. similarly I am taking capital K equal to capital k equal to maximum of a1 a2 up to am minus 1 and this term this term so this term is am plus 1 am plus 1 so small if small k is minimum of these all if small k if am minus 1 is minimum then if this is minimum then all these terms can be written here because if this is minimum then for every term of sequence am minus 1 becomes lower bound of sequence okay of and uh, other cases that a1 a2 up to am minus 1 from all these terms can be minimum so of all these terms i am taking a small k minimum okay also maximum of a1 a2 a m minus 1 and a m plus 1 these terms i am taking capital k hence what we can write hence a small k a small k is less than equal to a n is less than equal to capital k for each n belongs to n hence for every natural number so every term of sequence can be bound between small k and capital k and this is the definition of bounded sequence so what we can write 
this implies sequence a n is bounded sequence bounded sequence but converse of this theorem may not be true converse of this theorem may not be true for example for example if i take a sequence a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n this sequence then this is a bounded sequence then sequence a n is bounded but it is not a cosy sequence but it is not a cosy sequence because we have just proved the result this sequence a n is equal to minus 1 raised to the power n and we have proved this this sequence is not a cosy sequence so every cosy sequence is bounded but converse may not be true but converse may not be true because there is an example which is example of a bounded sequence but it is not a cosy sequence another important theorem we are going to prove is a sequence of real numbers a sequence of real numbers converges if and only if if and only if it is a cosy sequence it is a cosy sequence that is every convergent sequence is a cosy sequence and every cosy sequence is a convergent sequence in real number system okay that is sequence here we are taking sequence of real numbers proof proof necessary condition necessary condition necessary condition so we are taking let sequence a n be a convergent sequence b a convergent sequence that is limit n tends to infinity a n equal to suppose l suppose l okay i am taking sequence a convergent sequence and suppose limit of this convergent sequence is a small l a small l then we will prove that then we have to prove that sequence a n is a cosy sequence we will prove sequence a n a cosy sequence okay since since sequence a n is convergent and and converges to l l so so for epsilon greater than 0 there exist there exist a positive integer positive integer m such that positive integer m such that mode of a n minus l is less than epsilon by 2 for all for all n greater than equal to m n greater than equal to m also this result is true for n equal to m also so for n equal to m what we get mode a m minus l is less than epsilon by 2 epsilon by 2 now now mode a m minus a n is less than equal to mode a m minus l plus mode l minus a n 
but these both terms are less than epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 which is equal to epsilon so what we get mode of a n minus a m mode of a m minus a n is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n n greater than equal to n and this is the definition of Cauchy sequence hence we can write this implies sequence a n is a Cauchy sequence is a Cauchy sequence hence every convergent sequence of real numbers is a Cauchy sequence converse part or we write sufficient condition sufficient condition in sufficient condition suppose that suppose that sequence a n is a Cauchy sequence is a Cauchy sequence then we have to prove that then we have to prove that sequence a n is convergent sequence okay so we have to prove that a Cauchy sequence is convergent since here since sequence a n is Cauchy sequence this implies this implies sequence a n is a bounded sequence is a bounded sequence because we have proved that every Cauchy sequence is bounded so if sequence a n is Cauchy sequence then it is bounded sequence so and if sequence a n is bounded sequence this implies this implies sequence a n has a limit point limit point and suppose this limit point is l because we have proved bolzano weierstrass theorem and this theorem guarantees of existence of limit points and if a n is bounded sequence then sequence a n has at least one limit point and we are taking here suppose a small l is limit point of sequence a n a n now we will prove that sequence is convergent and converges to point L converges to point L we will prove that limit of sequence a n is equal to L is equal to L since a n a n is a Cauchy sequence is a Cauchy sequence so for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer m such that mode a m minus a n is less than epsilon by 3 for all n greater than equal to so here we are taking epsilon by 3 because finally when we will prove that sequence a n converges to l then mode a n minus l less than epsilon so true we will find uh, epsilon by 3 these type of three terms on adding we get epsilon so we are taking here a m minus a n less than epsilon by 3 epsilon by 3 also also I am taking this lesson number one also L is limit point of sequence L is limit point of sequence a n a n so so for k greater than m for k greater than m what we can write mode a k minus l is less than epsilon by 3 this is number 2 okay after m i am taking a term of sequence 
एंड सिंस एल इज लिमिट पॉइंट सो मोड ए के माइनस एल कैन बी रिटर्न एस लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री एफ सेवन बाई थ्री नौ सिंस सिंस के इज ग्रेटर देन एम सो इफ के इज ग्रेटर देन एम देन वॉट वी कैन राइट मोड ए के माइनस ए एम इज लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री एंड दिस इज नंबर थ्री बिकॉज बिकॉज फॉर एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम इफ एन इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम देन एम एंड एन सेटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन इफ आई टेक के हियर के इज ग्रेटर देन एम देन के एंड एम विल सेटिस्फाई दिस कंडीशन सो मोड ए के माइनस ए एम इज लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री और मोड ए एम माइनस ए के इट इज द सेम थिंग बिकॉज इन मोड वी कैन राइट ए एम माइनस ए के और ए के माइनस ए एम देर इज नो डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन दीज टू प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो वी गेट दीज थ्री रिलेशन नाउ आई विल प्रूव दैट सिक्वेंस ए एन कन्वर्ज इज टू एल सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड मोड ए एन माइनस एल मोड ए एन माइनस एल विच कैन बी रिटर्न इज लेस देन इक्वल टू मोड ए एन माइनस ए एम प्लस प्लस मोड ए एम माइनस एल ए एम माइनस सपोज ए के ए के एंड मोड ए के माइनस एल मोड ए के माइनस एल सो मोड ए एम माइनस ए एन वी कैन राइट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री मोड ए एम माइनस ए के अगेन इट इज लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री मोड ए के माइनस एल इट इज अगेन लेस देन एफ सेवन बाई थ्री सो दिस कम आउट एफ सेवन एंड फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम सो वॉट वी गेट मोड ए एन माइनस एल इज लेस देन एफ सेवन फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम and this is the definition of convergent sequence this implies sequence an is convergent sequence convergent sequence hence we have proved an important theorem that if we have a sequence of real numbers sequence of real numbers and it is cauchy sequence then it is convergent sequence and if it is convergent sequence then it is cauchy sequence so in real number system every cauchy sequence is convergent and every convergent sequence is cauchy so in our next lecture we will continue cauchy sequences some more results on cauchy sequence and examples based on these results we will do to friends agar hamare videos aapko pasand aa rahe hain to लाइक like करना ना भूलें शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि आपको समय समय पर हमारे वीडियोस मिलते रहें किसी भी तरह की अगर हमारे वीडियोस को लेकर कोई प्रॉब्लम आपके सामने आ रही है तो कमेंट बॉक्स में डालकर आप हमसे डिस्कस कर सकते हैं नमस्कार दोस्तों